And in this lesson, uh, we're going to paint a specular map. And I don't need a spec map for the eyeball. We're going to just use that, uh, that uh, geometry that we have back over here uh, for our specularity and reflections. So I'm not going to worry about creating a spec map for that. But we do need one for the face, so it doesn't look completely flat like that. Uh, just a little note on the eyes. I um, actually went in and painted the, the eye grad, kind of selecting that color. It's almost white. Painted in here behind the iris and turned the iris back on and went ahead and multiplied that over top to kind of hide some of those edges that were uh, kind of showing through right there. So that kind of fixed that problem. All right, so uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and collapse these now. So just merge visible. And I'm going to keep this as iris color, saving that. It's going to save that out now. And let's go ahead and create a specular map. So I'm just going to click back on to uh, the head here. And that brings up our paint layers for the head. We just have the base color. And I'm going to create a new layer. And under here, for channels, I'm going to select specular. Hit OK. So that's created a, uh, a new category under here, specular. And I'm going to click on the base color under diffuse. And I'm going to duplicate selection. I'm going to take the copy and just drag it down into the specular. You can already see it's uh, affecting it right there. And um, I'm going to turn this off right here. And really one of the best ways to kind of look at um, calling this black, uh, to look at specular is to uh, look at it on top of uh, a black shader. And um, fortunately, they don't really supply you with a black uh, shader that's completely flat. So you're kind of uh, left to, to make one. So I'm going to just come back out here, make sure I've got all my uh, things off. And I'm going to select the paintbrush and select black there. And go ahead and pick that up to 100%. Pick my brush size up. And I'm just going to cover this up. And. Uh, Let's do that. And we're going to have to edit the, the material on there, unfortunately. So uh, let's go ahead and turn these off for right now. Actually, it's the black is solid black, so that's what we want. I'm going to just check and make sure everything is covered up here. All right. So that's what you want right there, solid black, no specularity on it. And uh, I'm going to come back under here and turn on my uh, base color. And I'm going to call this now uh, base spec. And we're going to adjust settings here. I'm going to take the saturation completely out of it. And this is where I can start kind of uh, adjusting the curves here, actually just under value. Kind of pull that down. Like that. Okay. And we can kind of see how it's affecting it. Um, again, we're going to be able to control this a little bit more inside of Maya. But um, it's got uh, kind of a broken up surface there. It's not completely smooth, which is what we want. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is uh, with this paint layer right here. I'm going to call this uh, wet map. And we're going to come in here and select. Uh, I'm not going to go completely white. I'm going to use kind of a light gray. And again, I'm going to kind of, uh, well, I can break the surface up uh, something like this. Uh, let's look for something more like that. Bring my brush size way down. 
And the purpose of this is just to go over areas where there's going to be higher levels of specularity, like on the lips and around the eyelids. Uh, sometimes a little bit in the kind of T-section area. Uh, that's kind of going a little bit more for realism. So uh, I think we're going to just kind of stick with the cartoon kind of base uh, spec we have here. And just going to hit the lip area. This. And move that on top of here. All right, so we can see it now. And let's go ahead and bring it up to white at 100%. And we're seeing a little bit of that right there. I'm actually going to have to bring it clear up on top here of the black uh, in order to really see it. Uh, this is probably the best way to sort of judge your, your maps here is to just set them on top of that. So this is uh, going to have to get crushed down a little bit more. And uh, it's actually asking me for a new one here. So, that map. Oops. Go ahead and kind of paint on there. And again, I want this to be sort of broken up. I don't want a solid look to it. There we go. If I kind of overpaint some areas like I have here, uh, just come back with the paint erase and knock it down. Yeah. Don't really want them drooling. Okay. All right. Probably pull it out just a little bit more. All right. And same thing uh, around the eyes. Bring this up, bring the color down, something more like that. Say OK. And just kind of hit it around the eyes here a little bit. And I need to uh, kind of come in here and turn the eyeball off. There we go. Go up to here. Selecting on that. All right. And I'm just going to choose a little bit darker color, come back over top of that. Break it up a little bit more. Do that. So we're just kind of blending it in a little bit better. All right. So just kind of keeping in mind that the light areas are going to have more specularity. Let's take this back up here. Bring that down. And I'm just going to hit the cheeks a little bit. Too much. Strength down, brush size up. All right. So just kind of hitting the lower part of the eye right here and a little bit up in here. And I should have had symmetry on for that. Uh, so I'm going to come back over here, paint this. I do this a little bit quicker. I don't mind if they're a little different. Uh, let's pick that darker color. Strength. 
shrink the back up on it and just kind of come in here getting the eyelid all right so I think I might hit the lips a little bit here just kind of break them up a little I don't like the solid kind of color it's on there okay A look at that. I think that's working okay. So I'm going to come back over here to um, the base spec and make some adjustments to the color or to the value rather. Kind of pull it down. Okay, so I'm trying to get the contrast up on it a little bit. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so pretty happy with that. So I'm going to turn the black off and I'm going to merge these right here. Right mouse click, merge visible. Yeah, it's going to say base spec on there. Uh, I lost my kind of channel down here for uh, specular, so I'm just going to make a placeholder. Creates that again, and I'm going to drag and drop this down into here. And go ahead and right mouse click and delete that. Okay. I don't need the black anymore, so I'm going to delete that as well. Turn my spec on, or my base color and my spec, both on now. So you can kind of see a little bit of how the specularity is going to flow on there. Um, it's not a real good representation in here with lighting, but uh, you can kind of see it now. If I toggle it on and off. Okay, let's go ahead and save that, and let's get our eye back on. Deselect it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead now and send these back over to Maya. So select the eye first. And let's select the eye first. Come under File, Send to Maya, Update Current Scene. Okay. And it's sort of asking you here if you want to send the base mesh uh, instead or send the mesh at the current level. I'm going to send the base mesh instead. Okay, let's just come over into here and check and see that we got it. So we got that. And I think if we hit smooth on here, um, okay, so we probably need to actually send over the other the other mesh because this is not going to hold up here. So let's resend that. The current scene and it's kind of giving me a little warning here. All right, let's check it back here in Maya. Uh, it doesn't look like it's updated. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to uh, bring the um, up here on four levels. So so that was there. I need to actually select this. I'm just paging down, and now I can actually see what's going on here. So let's try it at level two and see if that that holds it. And Select it and send to Maya. And let's check and see if that did that. It does not look like it's updating. All right, so uh, what we might have to do is um, just pull the textures in and, and place them on there uh, onto our, our mesh. Okay. See if we can get this to go. 
I'm going to select the head. And I'm just going to check our levels here. So two is the highest, which isn't bad. Um, so I'm going to select the head and just send it over separately. All right, so add selected to current scene and the current level. So it's still exporting mesh. Looks like it came over here. All right, so we just need to turn off the other one. And control H. All right, so we've got that over here. Uh, I need to update the eye. Let's try that one more time here and see if we can get that to go. And select that. Try paging up again. Yeah, there's not a, a huge difference between the polygon count here. I think that's probably okay. Select that and select it with the mesh. There it is. So let's turn off this eye. There we go. All right, so we've got that. And and drag the head up to here and the iris I'm going to drop that into the left eye I'm going to keep that off go ahead and turn the cornea back on okay and I'm just going to grab this whole group right here and delete it grab this eye group here and I've got my uh, manipulator centered on the origin and just going to do duplicate special uh, negative one in scale duplicate that over and it should be there all right okay so there he is um, let's make sure the cornea is on both And let's just look at the material for that. I've got just a regular fong on there. Let's take the transparency up all the way. And uh, check the specularity on it. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got our uh, textures over here now in Maya. Go ahead and close that down. I'm going to just select a, a color for his, his head here. It's not selecting. The, the mesh is a little heavy. All right. So assign new material. Give it a blend. And uh, I'm probably going to have to shut Mudbox down. Uh, it's kind of using up a little bit too much memory here. And kind of give him some reddish hair, kind of carrot top. Well, maybe it looks a little bit better with it darker like that, a little more contrast. It's either going to have to go really bright uh, orange or, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Crazy color there. And I'm going to bring down the specularity on it. It's not so specular. Tighten it up a little bit. Okay. Deselect. All right, so that's pretty much it. And uh, you can see everything's kind of working in there. Got our colors. And uh, that's... Uh, it's going to do it for this lesson.